Hello and welcome back to Frank's World TV. Today, we're gonna to talk solar power. Naturally, as you've heard, IoT is kind of a big deal. And while many of these solutions were perfectly fine attached to power, sometimes if you wanna get outdoor sensors and in remote locations, power may be at a premium. So that's why I picked up these solar panels and I talked about them in a previous video right here. Also at the end of the video, I said I wasn't really comfortable hooking it up to a battery until I understood more about electricity. And I spent the last couple of months reading up and studying. Yesterday I went to the store and I picked up a car battery. The instructions that I found online kept referring to a deep cycle battery, which basically means that the battery is designed to take an 80% loss uh, before being recharged. And that makes sense for a solar system because ultimately you're going to charge it up during the day and then potentially almost entirely drain it at night. So I picked this up at the store. It is kind of heavy. So now I have my battery. I have my positive terminal and my negative terminal. So now what we're going to do since we're working with electricity, is put on some gloves. And unfortunately, this was the only gloves that they had at the store. They barely fit. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. So I have the charge controller here, and I have the adapter to a spliced wire, and then this spliced wire goes into here. Always making sure red was positive and black was negative. So now I'm gonna plug this in. And according to the other video that I saw online, this should light up. All right, and it indeed, it is lit up. So now comes the fun part. This battery did not come with wing nuts. So I had to go to the store and get them. They were. 5 sixteenths. So now I'm going to plug this in, or more to the point actually, put this on top of this, and then use the wing nut to tighten down what I want it to do. Real challenge with these gloves, but I feel safe. Loop this around, repeat the same process for the negative. Okay. All right, so this here, you'll notice that the, instead of both lights being on, this is now saying, that it's charging. And that makes sense. This is a new battery. It probably doesn't have a full charge. So uh, we're actually now pulling um, energy from the sun and we're dropping it into this battery. Now comes the interesting part. When we hook up the power inverter. So you'll see the power inverter is your typical car. Um, they used to be called cigarette lighters when apparently people smoked in their cars. And as someone who's rented cars from now on time when traveling, People still do smoke in their cars. Okay, so we have this here. So now we have to get from this, from this battery here to that type of socket. And that's exactly what this piece, which came with the solar charging kit. Um, so this is the part where they said that it could spark. And that's the part that's a little scary, but it's okay. So I'm going to hook up the positive or the negative first, so I can indeed reach that. And all right, no spark. That's interesting. Okay. So now, if all is right, then this should be 
this should be live. This should be exactly what the type of uh, connector you have in your car. And um, like I said before we plug it in, make sure this is off. And um, let's plug it in. All right, here's the moment of truth. And it's green. This means that we now have power coming from the sun into the solar panels, going through the charge controller, which regulates the input voltage, which regulates what's coming in from the sun, going to the battery to charge the battery, and then from the battery we're taking the 12 volt and converting it to 120 volts AC. So, I will plug in something just to prove that it's actually working. This is a um, IP camera from uh, Tenvis and I'm going to power this into here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, well, what if I wanted to set up a webcam far away from an electrical connection, say in my backyard, particularly maybe at night. All right, let's see, plug it in, it's turning on, and it should boot up. It is booting up. We see that the, that's working. And then this particular model, when it boots up, kind of does a, uh, like a yoga stretch and yawn. And there we go. We now have a completely off-grid power supply for your IoT projects. Now granted this is probably overkill because I'm pulling in uh, from my measurements approximately um, somewhere between 19 and 24 volts and I'm going through a lot of machinations to make it um, into 120 volts and then this here converts it back down to direct current at 5 volts. As always, thanks for watching, and if you'd like to be among the very first to know when I publish a new episode of Frank's World TV, be sure to click the subscribe button down here to your left.